Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time all in one place, all on your terms. Their design intelligence empowers anyone to build a beautiful, more personalized website tailored to their unique needs, while Squarespace Payments is the easiest way to manage your payments in one place with Squarespace. Onboarding is fast and simple. All of the tools you need to engage your subscribers, drive sales, and simplify your audience management. Set up automated emails to build connections while saving time and easily integrate your products into email templates to drive sales and increase site traffic. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to www.squarespace.com backslash Olivia Reads a Latte to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Hello, welcome to another weekly vlog. Look how nice that green looks in the back. Oh, love it. We just got back from grabbing coffee and I just had breakfast and I just picked out the next reader on Holobook. So I have it right here and I let my partner decide how that was going to be picked and it was either a new release or a backlist. They picked backlist. And then it was a um, chaotic pick where I just close my eyes and pick one. Does not matter about the genre or a mood read pick. And they picked the chaotic. <laughs> so we'll see. The one that got picked is, it looks interesting and it is one that they gifted me. So we will see. We will see. I think an agenda was pushed. But I have Pilates at 10. And then I have my lashes at, um, after, <laughs> at after that o'clock. So I'm going to down this puppy and then get some shoes on and get ready to go. I do think I'm going to switch out of these leggings into some joggers. I got, um, two pairs of joggers from Hollister to try out because I really like a pair of joggers that I've had from Fabletics for like years now, but they don't make any of them anymore. And they're perfect for Pilates because they're kind of loose, but they're not sweatpants. They're like this, um, I don't know, like almost a wash, like, you know, washcloths have like, or maybe it's like a kitchen cloth that you'll use, but it's not like a paper towel, but it just is like a, um, a little bit of a rougher material. It's not slick like sweatpants, but it's really lightweight. I just love them. I just love them. So we're going to try out those new pairs that just got in and see if we enjoy them as much. But today I plan after that to just do the reading. I think I'm going to try to get, we used to live here. I would love to finish that today. I'm 62 or 3% in and yeah, let me tell y'all something. I don't know if this is a spoiler. I don't think it is because the whole thing you're like, what is going on with this family? Like, what are they about? If you don't know, it's this book where this woman and her partner just bought this house and they're about to flip it. And this guy who allegedly lived there as a child is like, oh my God, this is my childhood home. Can I show my, my kids? We're moving cross country and I just came here and wanted to show them the house. Would it be cool? The answer is no. I would never have folded as she did, but alas she did so now we are here yeah and it's not looking good and it's like okay are they demons is it like a cult it are they gonna just like be like the strangers movies like what's going on here there is within like the first chapter hints of like high strangeness and if you don't know high strangeness i didn't either don't fear but listening to a podcast that i listen to quite frequently uh, one of the hosts talk about high strangeness a lot and it's just weird. It's just weird stuff that happens and you're like, what's going on? It's like when all of those like random rocks were showing up in places and people are like, how did these even get here? High strangeness, baby. I like high strangeness. It's weird. You don't know what's going on. Um, I'm starting to also realize from horror books, I need to be okay with whatever 
the thing, entity, whatever it is, ends up being. Um, because I don't actually want to know if it's going to end up being a demon or a poltergeist or some other ethereal entity or like a cult thing. Like I don't actually want to know. I want to figure it out as we're reading. But sometimes I get let down when it's like, so Ed and Lorraine aren't showing up? Bummer. But it's okay. It's okay. So, yeah, I'm going to try to finish that one today. Maybe we'll get a little bit more into Oathbringer. I'm over halfway through that as well. And then I'll have my Read It or Unhaul It books going on in the background. I also decided to do a reading project for Patreon. So, on one of the tiers, I do, like, what I call an espresso exclusive, and it's a video that only goes up there. And I just wanted to talk to y'all about it because I'm excited about it. I am reading, I'll put like my thumbnail that I made right here, but I'm reading these books that Goodreads deemed like some of Goodreads favorites from the past five years. And I think it's Goodreads members favorites. And I'm really excited because it's a bunch of random books that I never would pick to read. And I don't really like doing reading projects here. I like doing the read it or unhaul it because it's very mood based. And I like doing weekly vlogs because that's the, the vibe. But with reading vlogs, I feel like I take forever to read all the books because they're either all in the same category. And it's just up to luck and chance if I'm in the mood for them at the time and I keep being in the mood. Or they're all different variety and I have to wait till I'm in the mood for them. But with this, I don't know. This might be... I mean, this is going to be a video that I'm filming for like probably the next two months, being honest with myself, and it'll go up in December, but I'm kind of excited about it. I've decided I also want to do some like random challenge videos that like I just don't have the upload time for here, and I think I'll put them over there and that might be fun. So maybe waking up at 6am to get like a reading routine would be cute. I don't know what else. There was another one of like spinner wheel chooses my TBR for a week, just like random things like that. I just think it would be fun because I already do a reading vlog for the book club book over there. So I want to do something that's reading-ish, but also not fully on the reading, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's, that's all the plans that I've come up with this weekend and what I'm going to be working on this week. But for now, I need to go get ready to go to Palats and then go get my lashes done so cheers you tell me you're scared you tell me you're the music I am out of Pilates I am going to uh the board drown this water drown it okay um drink it maybe and then I'm doing that because I'm gonna get a second coffee can't be stopped looks so beautiful and look at that put my little name it looks so cute um but yeah we're having a round two of the day i don't think you should worry about it because i'm not i am embracing a good old-fashioned treat day what do you think about that so craziest update accidentally fell into a barnes and noble parking lot
still be So, there's a meeting of the minds happening, it looks like. I'm taking a picture of this to send to my partner, because what is, ha what are y'all planning? What are you gonna do? What does it mean? And don't notice how dirty my windows are, that's personal. Hello, folks. I'm home. I decided to go ahead and shower and do my skincare because... I am just feeling sleepy, but I don't want to nap today. So, I'm going to show you my last Barnes & Noble haul for the year because I bought two books for the fall season, one for October, one for November, and then I bought two books, yes, for the holiday season, and that's it. I always want to buy so many holiday books and then I never read them. I wish more people put out holiday thrillers. That would be a bug. But, all right. So, the two that I got for this time is Model Home by River Solomon. I've never read anything by this author, but Steph from Steph Bookish mentioned that it was coming out and that it was a haunted house story and I love that. Those lizards I showed y'all are like higher up on the window now. I think they're trying to tell me something. You ever think the wind's trying to tell you something and you just forgot how to hear it? But make it lizards. Anyways, this is a haunted house book. I'm interested. I am excited and I think I just saw that this is in Dallas. Yeah. So between that, Sign of the Slayer, and then Immortal Dark, like I'm set on my spooky books in this month. Ooh, I'm so excited. Um, Cause I'm doing a lot of fantasy, but I wanted to have some creepy crawly books. And I think those will be that. And then I do have a little cozy-ish book. I got the new Richard Oseman, We Solve Murders. I believe solving murders, it's a family business. I love it. So it's someone who's retired and then his daughter-in-law. Oh my God. He still does the odd bit of investigation work, me. But he prefers his familiar routines, the pub quiz, his favorite bench, the cat waiting room at home. I am a retired man, <laughs> turns out. Um, but she is doing private security and a dead body and a bag of money mean trouble in paradise. So she sends an SOS to the only person she trusts. Love it. I think this is gonna be perfect. This is gonna be like such a good book to cuddle up to on the couch with my cat that I have waiting at home. And then for the holiday time, I went ahead and grabbed the Mistletoe Mystery. Normally I would not get a novella, but this is one of my favorite cozies. It is just the writing, the characters, all of it. I adore this main character. It is just so cutesy. Love it. So I grabbed that. It's so cute. And then make the season right. Ashley Herring Blake is the author of Delilah Green Doesn't Care. And that is my favorite romance of all time, in case you're wondering. And I am excited to read another book by them. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It will be my holiday read, I believe, as will this, but like a cute little 24 hour readathon. I think that would be so fun. So I'm doing, let me see, October, November. Yes, the Shaken Espresso readathon will be in December. So, wow, look at us building our TBR in advance. But look, it's even got a color scheme. Every time I go to the bookstore, there's a color scheme and I don't even try. I'm just that good. So we are going to go tuck into bed, I feel. I don't really want to be vertical any longer. I'm going to make myself a little um, charcuterie board, which is really not that much. I'm going to also add a banana because it just sounds good. But I'm just feeling, you ever just feel very like, I wasn't very hungry. I ate breakfast late, 
which then made me not super hungry for lunch. So now it's an awkward time where if I eat a full meal right now, I will be hungry for dinner and I'd rather eat dinner because that sustains me for like till morning. So I'm still gonna eat something. I'm not skipping around, but it's just gonna be a little like snack plate. It's not even a snack plate. This is close to a meal, um, but it's just little. It's a charcuterie board, but with like no ability to set it up properly. And actually, maybe I should finish off We Used to Live Here first. Because I did read a little bit more of this before my class this morning, and I'm into it. Um, but yeah, I think maybe I should do that, and then we can do some of this. And then also, I would like to start my reader earn haul it book. So maybe that will go in the middle. And then Oathbringer will be my wind down, chill out night. Yeah. So let us go do, and that's that's all I got. Oh, another update that you didn't ask for. For some reason, my Wi-Fi is not working. I don't know, our power did something. Are you okay? Go lay down, it's okay, I'll be right there. Go lay down. <laughs> our oven did like a weird thing where it like turned on and off. And you know the sound that the house makes when your power goes out? It made that sound. I was gonna say I can't tell if the AC's on, but I'm not sweating. So yes, it's definitely on, Olivia. Hello. But it was just weird. Just weird. So I guess the Wi-Fi still out from that. The question is, oh, what are the lizards doing? I think one of them is attacking the other one. That's crazy. Uh oh my god, it's literally chasing him across the window. Wow. Riveting. Truly, this stuff is riveting. I know. I'm as you all see. You are. Um, so I don't have any Wi-Fi, so I can't really get distracted. So I guess I am going to focus. Imagine. Maybe I should do that as a challenge. Like unplug my Wi-Fi for a weekend. <laughs> right as much as possible. Um, or I could show restraint and just not go on my phone. I think it'd be more fun to unplug my Wi-Fi. It's a little bit more dramatic. But it's more in the zone. Uh, but also coffee update. Did not finish that. I'm gonna put it in the fridge for tomorrow morning. Yup, yup, cause I need to drink my water. So, food, water, finish this book, then move on to the read, well, I'll, I'll review it for y'all. Read it and unhaul it book. Just gonna start it, just see where we're at with that. The vibes, if you will, of a little vibe check. And then Oathbringer, because I'm into it. I want to finish it. And also, I put on my Bookly app that I want to finish it by Thursday. So I got to get to it. I can't play games. Hello, y'all. So did I do anything that I said I was going to do? No. I just ended up um, starting a watch of a new channel that I found. And I'm living my best little life with that. And I just got a 12 minute voice memo that I'm gonna have to clock in and listen to. So it's not looking bright for the reading reading tonight. Rhyming. So I think tomorrow will be an Oathbringer day. Um, I'm gonna start the reader unhaul book tonight, but Oathbringer I think I'll do during sprints. I'm currently reading We Used to Live Here on my little Kindle. I'm on page 219 out of 312. And I have to say, this is now just getting, like, it's just weird. It reminds me of the same kind of horror, like, God, was House of Leaves was? It has the same vibe as that. Mainly in the plotline in that book with the house itself. Sorry, Jake is, like, moving this pillow for some reason that y'all are resting on. Sabotaging the vlog. Not clickbait. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's just odd. But honestly, now that I have been reading it, seeing the house fractured like that in the cover makes sense. It's a good choice. I like it. I like it a lot. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I've just kind of been in, like, a... Mm, kind of mood like not not great I've just been feeling kind of like irritable kind of tired kind of like mm, 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 brother ooh, you know so I am uh, clocking out of the world for the night 
I'm just gonna finish this guy. I'm almost 70% in now. So I said we wrap this puppy up. See what's going on. Uh, my, I was telling my mom about this earlier today. And she looked up in one of the... I'm assuming one of the book groups that she's in. And she was talking about how people like really seem to love it. They just were confused at the ending, some of them. But for the majority of it, they really liked it. And I like that. I like that. So... We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Look, y'all. I was all ready to go to bed. And then I just finished. We used to live here. And I... Am so thrown off <laughs> that was so good i gave it five stars um this is oh there's an animal oh it's a cat okay anyways sorry got distracted um this is my kind of like i'm trying to set y'all up so it looks and ask good lord why is it so hard to do this um this is my kind of weird horror um, I was just talking with my friend about different horror and like social horror is not really my thing for the most part. Like what people call like weird lit fic is not really my thing because it tends to be horror or have horror elements, but I just don't care for it as much. But this, no, that worked. That worked. I think it's best if you don't know anything. I'm not going to say which of my theories that I discussed earlier were correct. If we went high strangeness, if we went paranormal, if we went demons, if we went poltergeist, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you. It could be none. It could be all. Okay. I need you, if you are interested in this kind of thriller or horror, really, uh, you should check it out without knowing too much about it. I think not knowing what you're getting into is the best uh, way of this. With that being said, I am going to do some spoilers. So go ahead and skip to whatever timestamp I put up. If you do not want the spoilers, which again, if you don't plan on reading it, then who cares, right? But if you do, don't get spoiled. Um, but now for spoilers. So I, and it's honestly not even spoilers, by the way, if you're still here. It's not even going to be spoilers. It's just going to be books that I would compare this to. And, um, yeah, I guess just books that I would compare this to, really. And then maybe more in-depth recommendation based on Viavage. Uh, I just think that the books that I would compare it to could reveal, uh, I feel like it's a twist and a turn, but who knows. Okay, so... We have a lot of ley line mention in here, and I really enjoy that. I really think that this did better for me what House of Leaves was trying to accomplish. House of Leaves was just not really a book for me. The concept was interesting, and I enjoyed it. I don't like... I've realized I just like books that read like a very typical, structured, prose just how it is uh kind of way I don't care for I like footnotes and that's about it I don't need another story being told in the footnotes so that just about drove me crazy okay I was I was ready to get in that house and get lost because I could not so if you liked House of Leaves you may like this if you didn't like House of Leaves but you enjoyed the idea and you wanted to like it hello it also kind of reminds me of the vibes of I'm thinking of ending things. However, I didn't like that book because what this worked with in here, and I'm not going to disclose what ended up being like the thing that was happening, um, I think was attempted with that one, but like it was just sad. And I'm not interested in that. I just want creepy. You know what I mean? Like I, again, and truly what that shows is I read for entertainment and escapism. I'm not trying to be sad when I have a book cracked open, okay? Typically that's when I'm the happiest. Is when I have disconnected from the line. I'm living in the world. I'm grounded and I'm reading a book. 
and this one was creepy. It really creeped me out at night. I did not love it, but I had such a good time with it. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's five freaking stars. I am also not really a big horror person in general. I have my moments. Grady Hendrix is, Hendrix is pretty much the only moment. Every time he releases a book, that's when I have my moment. But sometimes I go and I dabble again and I enjoy it. And now I'm more excited about Model Home because that one's also a horror. And you know what else I'll say? I really enjoyed The Spite House and this has a little bit... I could see this being recommended too within that realm. So if if you have read this, I would also recommend you The Spite House. It was very similar. Um, thematically, it's different. There's a little bit of a there's a little bit of a crossover, but vibage wise, because y'all know I'm reading for vibes and funsies. Well, everything's not fun, but like you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So, anyways, that is it. That is all for me. I am tired. I'm up past my bedtime. I am looking at what book I want to start next. I kind of want to go into a thriller for my Kindle read, so I'll peruse what I have there. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to read like a chapter of the Read It or Haul It book now and then, oh, I need to update my Goodreads too. But I think I'm just going to read like a chapter of that just to get a feel for the book and then head to bed because like this I will also <laughs> warn and if you again if you don't want to know anything about we used to live here now just skip to the next day timestamp will be in the description or you can just skip to you see Tuesday pop up um or be I'll put some b-roll after this so you can just skip to that so when you see the good old hatch pop up again that's your time uh I well, what was I gonna say well shoot never mind I forgot what I was going to tell you. I don't even know what I was talking about. I could just go back in there and check the footage, but I'm going to be honest. I don't even remember anything. I don't even remember my name. I oh, know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but if you read it, ah! uh, yeah, I don't. Oh, yes, I do remember because it's something I typically don't like at all in books. Okay, for real, skip to the hatch B roll. Uh, this does have an open ending. It is not really a cliffhanger because. I don't think that applies to books that aren't series. It is a open ending, yet not really. Cause like you, you know what happened, but also it's like, so what? Like I would say it's a very, it's the most satisfying, unsatisfying open ending I've ever read. Usually open endings tend to be quite unsatisfying to me. That's why I don't like them. They're not written that well. This one was written so well. Um, the way it was done was perfect. And if you like multimedia books, here you go. It's involved in this one. And it's great. And I just, I am genuinely, <laughs> I don't know if y'all can tell, I'm actually shocked at how much I enjoyed this. So that's fun, you know? <laughs> I did not think I was going to enjoy it as much as I did, clearly. But I always, I always love to find a new, a new book. But for now... It's time for bed. Goodbye. Hello, I'm out of Pilates, gonna go grab a coffee and then we have 
all day reading sprints today. So I am gonna get lots done. Super excited. We will set out a plan when we get home though because I need to update my planners too. Hello. Oh gosh, I need to get my little charger out for you. Um, I've started sprints and it's going well. Uh, I just brought Ginger in here so she can hang out with us. Jake is hanging down there. I have obtained a second coffee round. I'm going to plug y'all in. You might feel a little pinched, but don't even worry about it then because it's just, it's just going to help y'all and give you some energy, some B12. Um, yeah, so I would like to continue reading Immortal Dark, and I'm also going to read this, which is the Reader on Holly book, but you'll never know until the episode comes out and then you'll know. Um, but I have to get very serious. So let me get serious. I'm going to put you with Ginger. How about that? I've got the shika shik. My newest obsession, to be honest with you. And we are gonna read. The stream has ended. I love my outro. <gasps> oh, hi there! <laughs> Why did I act so scared? <laughs> so dumb. Um, I'm just shutting down my computer and I am hearing voices in my headphones. Hate that. Uh, she's telling me that my iMac just got lost. <laughs> Girl, it's right in front of me. Um, I am exporting a Patreon exclusive video right now that is going to go up as soon as it's done exporting. We're going to peer pressure it to go faster. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all. That's all that's going on. That's all. That's all. That's it, you guys. Um, I am now going to go make dinner. I'm going to charge my watch, my ring, just like... Autobots charge up and then I'm gonna boot scoot boogie on to making dinner and then going to bed. What do you think about that? I'm pretty excited about I just started talking in my ears from the computer right there. I didn't like that sensation at all. I don't have any reading updates for you. I do not think I'm gonna be finishing Oathbringer when I wanted to. Uh, I was joking on stream what book I should bring with me tomorrow. I picked up, I'm not kidding, one of y'all did send this to me, and I really do want to read it soon. I just had it right next to me. It's always been next to my desk. It was this or The President is Missing. I was like, which one do you think I'll be able to, you know, really strike up a combo with? So, it was this or The Unhaul Book. Or quite frankly, Oathbringer. But I think with Oathbringer, I'll probably take my Kindle. Because I would be so annoyed <laughs> bringing that book everywhere for no reason. Um, but yeah, y'all, I am sleepy. I'm tired. These headphones are making me mad. They make too much noise for no reason randomly. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you this. There's this random cat that just showed up in my office. I don't Do you see her too? Why is she squinting at me like that? What does it mean, Ginger? Oh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, no, she spotted me. 
She's so cute. Look at these fall babies. He's being so cute, right, Jake? He's not even giving me the time of day. He's like, I'm not gonna run that. I just got home and look what we need to unbox. Very exciting. And of course I have my favorite producer in town. <gasps> Mr. Jakey Tin. The one and only first of his name. Protector of books. Groaner of achy bones. Okay, he got over that real quick. Um, does everything look okay behind me? Oh. Ignore that mess. <coughs> so I actually got, first of all, uh, I just think this is cute. And that's why I wanted to show it to you. A little mailer. But that is going to be a Patreon video because I got a bunch of um, planner stickers. I just like got more for my collection for fall and then also I ran out of my favorites and my most used ones so I'm just gonna use those what vibe are we going for works um I don't know oh so these some of these are from entangled this one's from entangled as well two from fairy loot and one from a so we're just gonna go through them all together guys y'all i've been out of the house all day my back hurts i'm tired grandpa um and i'm just about ready to get in bed i read almost a hundred pages of the current read it or unhaul it book so that's fun we're on book two for that vlog so yay let me know if y'all are still liking those because i am and I don't know what it'll do if you tell me. Other than we can talk about it in the comments. I didn't get to respond to my comments today. Uh, because I was out and I just couldn't get on, you know, my phone and stuff. But man, I... What the heck is this? Um, I need to go reply to my comments. Because I want to chat with y'all. I don't know what this is. This does not... dramatic yes that was so much easier um can you guess what the book is oh my god how'd you know uh i think this is another one from my besties at red tower red tower so this is what the official final book is gonna look like and it's coming out october 22nd i may actually have this one on pre-order and I don't want to own two copies of it. So, because I'm not going to lie. I pre-ordered it because it sounded really interesting. I did that like oh, a year ago. I think it was supposed to come out a while ago. But I prefer the paperbacks that they send. Because <laughs> they're so floppy. It's nice. It's nice. Is this a map? Ooh, A map. But yeah, look how beautiful this cover is. The last line. But in a kingdom built on secrets and lies, hope doesn't come cheap. Nor will his ultimate revenge. That actually sounds really good. <laughs> I need to put this on my little shelf of the new releases that they have sent me. The last one that I read was awful. It was that... That one with the, what it, what was that one? Jake, hey, Jake, buddy, do you remember that one? No. He looked at me like, if you bring that up again, I'm going to lose it. Oh, this was a book I was really waiting for. So this is a young adult fairy loot box. And this is a book I almost bought. And then I looked at the cheat it's not cheating because it's not a game, but the the spoiler website and saw that it was coming in the mail. So I was like, um, hello, get to me faster. I need to read you the city of Phantom, the dagger in the flame. 
beautiful. And a deadly game of revenge. The most dangerous mistake of all is falling in love. Oh, it would be a shame. That just took all my energy out of me to say that and make that voice. <laughs> but there's the uh, little sprayed edges action going on. And then of course, oh, well, oh, there's some art under the cover. It is a different cover. This is the regular dangular cover. Well, it's, the colors are different. I like this one better. I, I never like what they do on the back of there. And this is the naked boot. It's got that on both sides. And then here's some art inside. And there. And fire. And that. So that is the next one. Y'all, I'm going to have to start like getting a little serious about reading these fairy loot books that I got on my shelf. Because we're about to get into second shelf territory with them. Okay. Now, what is this next one, you may ask? What month was that one? September. That's the soonest I've had a fairy loot get to me. Goodness. This one is the adult September box. So there is the spoiler card. I am going to show the book, so look away if you are fearful of that. I wonder when the romanticy is going to... I almost said touchdown. I need to just go rot in bed, y'all. <laughs> like, it just needs to happen. Ugh, here is that beautiful book. It is very, very beautiful. I want to read this author's previous trilogy and then also this one, actually. So that works out great for me. This reminds me of a book that I don't know if I can say. I don't know if that's a spoiler to the what is in that book. So I'm not going to do it. But I am going to read this. Is it signed? Nar. That's okay, Andrea. I know she was just waiting for that heart. Oh. And now we'll do the Illumicrate. So this one doesn't have a card or anything so I don't well they don't have a why do they it's just the one box thank god fairy loot y'all fairy loot tried to scam me not clickbait okay you know how you get only so many skips right so I have three of their boxes I don't want to talk about it. I ha I do it's just the facts we're just discussing the facts we're not talking about feelings <laughs> So I have those and you can skip each of them like what four times I think in a year in like 12 months and whenever you skip the first time that's when the 12 months starts. So if you s skip in March you wait till next March to renew all those um, like skip credits is kind of what I think of it as but they tried to get me to sign up for a box that ships all three together and I was like wow that makes a lot of sense. Hold on, because then you can only skip so many times, and then I think you have to skip the whole box. This could be false information, by the way. Any fairy loot employees in the chat want to clarify? <laughs> I could be lying. Um, well, I'm not, because this is how I understood their rules and how um, other people did, because I looked at one of the websites I go to for the book spoilers, and that's what the general... <gasps> it's a freaking dragon. Oh, <sighs> okay. Anyways, we don't have time to talk about this anymore. It actually doesn't matter. So here is the cover. I'm just going to show it all to you. There's the cover. Okay? Buttes. Here are these sadly drowned people. Okay. Cool. Goes with the theme. That's a freaking dragon, dude. <laughs> That's like a dead horse, dude. <laughs> I don't know who these people are that I am impersonating. I'm just speaking. And that should be stopped. Um, so that is my 
books of the month, I guess you could say. <laughs> and then also, I actually do seriously want to pick this up soon, but my head hurts so bad right now. I genuinely cannot think about picking up a book. It makes me want to scream, so I'm not going to. You cannot make me. I said no. Um, I'm going to go lay in bed and watch grown women fight over things and talk about how they spend a thousand dollars on uber a month and don't use the subway which to be fair i guess technically a thousand dollars is like when you combine some people's car notes and their insurance it's the same it just feels a little silly if you're in a walkable city but also i'm sure there are reasons i don't know if she has reasons but probably I just listen listen I just love to watch rich people drama I really really do uh, I actually I need to go set up my stream for tomorrow post it on patreon and then we're gonna go lay down that'll be my thing of the day because I I don't have it in me who am I um uh, 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 okay, bye. <laughs>
Hello. Um, it's not live yet. But. Yeah, that has been the morning thus far. Why are you so wibbly wobbly? Let me help you out there. Um, I need to light my candle. I need to take my greens. But <laughs> I'm going to do that in a minute because I'm very... I need to get it together right now. So... Actually, okay, sorry, I had to connect my headphones because they were being weird. Um, whoops, that one jumped ship. Let's let those puppies charge. I'm gonna write down. The new books that we got. Although, do I remember? Do you remember? Which book color goes to which? No, I do not. I'm a... D um, the vibes have been set. Okay. The most important part for me of any day of like getting ready to be productive as I'll get out. Is always that I need it to be lit with a candle okay I have to have that it just sets the tone for the day all right all right so moving past that I am in the same shirt guys I don't know what's it's a different shirt but the same sweater I just basically have one every season, I feel like. And spring is my little lavender purple one, although she's falling apart. I did thrift that one, and it's been going for a good long time, but now we're here. So, anywho, I am going to write these down. I will get with y'all in just a second. I'm going to start this live off. How about that? Um, so, give me just a second. You want to see? Look how cute the little ghost is. And then we wait for it to show up over here. Y'all, is your YouTube recommending you the most random things that you're like, I would never watch that in my life. What are we doing here? Because mine is. Hopefully I didn't mess this up. That would be so embarrassing. Ah, no, I did it. Look at that. Look at that. She can work simple technology. What do you know? I'll see y'all in just a second. Let me get these started. Here is my cute little add addition, add additions, um, additions to the jar. So let's go, oh, let's go put them in. Da da da. There we go. I don't know which one I want to read more. Honestly, this one is really catching my eye. Hmm. But also, so is this one. Hmm. Hello, everybody. So I have pulled up my Libro because I think I want to start an audiobook because I need to clean the kitchen and then I need to clean some of the carpet that Jake decided to be a dog with so I'm thinking this one can you even see that? yeah we came to visit you or came to welcome you it looks good it looks weird it's a novel of suburban horror ain't that the truth so I'm going to start that 
and update my planners, do the dishes, clean the carpet. Um, while I listen to this, I need to go get out that carpet cleaner. Um, the little Bissell thing that I've showed y'all, which I am still obsessed with, I love the most. So let's go do that. Okay, actually, first I need to put away all of <laughs> their food because it just got here. So let us start. So what I'm gathering thus far from this book is it is, uh, I, I think they're two, they're married, but it is a couple that has moved in and Sol seems to be our main character and she is going through, um, mental health stuff, anxiety, all that jazz. And so this move is like really overwhelming. And then her wife is very excited about it and doesn't seem to have the same fears and they already have like some issues between them from things that are going on in their life so we've established that but they're just moving into like a very nice suburban area and um yeah it is interesting so far i don't love this narrator I don't know why, but it's just sounds very familiar, but it's something about, it doesn't speed up well. Um, and that's the only reason why I don't love the narration, but it's not that big of a deal. It's not worth, um, not listening to it just because of that. You know what I mean? So I'm going to keep listening. I got my skull cup out and I'm going to put my iced coffee into it. And then we are going to go sit down and, oh, actually I'm going to postpone the coffee until I, I forgot that I needed to get the freaking cleaner out because I put up the dishes and then I, come on, start dishwasher. I put those up and then I, uh, did the dog food and cat food and Jake was very excited to see those things being unpacked. But now I need to get the carpet cleaner out and that is what we're going to do. So let us go load it up. Big old guy. I've actually got two things, two little spots that I can do. And I have to say, this thing, like, I just, I think I'm so used to cleaning supplies that are pushed a lot online, not working. And I believe that it works. <laughs> so I try it. And it's so hard because I love to follow cleaning Instagrams and TikToks and stuff. But I swear they use, like, six different machines. And I'm like, first of all, where do y'all store all of this? Like, what? Second of all, why can't I just have one machine that does all these things? And this one, it does it. With this one, all I need is this and then a little vacuum action and we're good to go. Buddy, I love it. I love it. So what I normally do is I will... Um, do this, I'll run it over like a stain remover situation, and then I will let it dry down, and then I'll vacuum. And it works out perfectly. I'm not going to do too much water, because I uh, only have a small situation on my hands. So, oh, the other thing I was going to say is, even if you clean the stain up, like, I have, I have found a stain that was there for an undetermined amount of time. I don't even know how long it was there. I think probably um, what happened is I dripped like espresso or something onto it and I just didn't catch it. So I used this little guy on it and it was on the rug, but it still worked really well. And so like that stain had been there for probably months to be honest. And I just didn't realize it. And 
it cleaned it all up. Like you wouldn't even know it's there. It's crazy. It's crazy. Although I will say this builder grade carpet is driving me a little bonkers um, now because it's like, I think I mentioned that before. Okay. So why are you going all over the place? <laughs> this camera is like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I mentioned that before and someone said they don't use like the best quality. So that makes sense. I think I am seeing that now. Um, so if you have any recommendations, like I really, I don't want to replace it yet. I, I want to see if I can like revive it. So if you have any recommendations on how to revive it, let me know, please. Cause I would like to do that, but let us get back. This is my attempt at drawing the spines of Mistborn. Um, I'm doing more of a doodly vibe of it, but I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's too bad. I can't decide if this is the font I want to go for, for this page, but I do think it's cute. I do think it's cute. So now this is going to be era two, which I have not read yet. This is a secret project so I can do tress. For Stormlight, I'm going to do uh, just Way of Kings and Words of Radiance, and then I can do Edge Dancer, but I cannot do Dawn Shard yet. And then this is Oathbringer. That will be Rhythm of War, and then this will be Wind and Truth. So I will be able to do two of these, one of these, and one of these, and then the rest will do as I read them. And I just think it looks really cool, and honestly, 
I was gonna doodle all of them, but I just feel like this is a motivator for me to actually read the books because I want to read them, but this motivates me to like keep going because I'm like, oh, I don't know. I was one of those kids that I'm like, oh, I finished a book. Put a sticker on my planner, Miss Teacher, please. So this is my adult version of that. And I really like it, if I do say so myself. We have a Jake unboxing. Jake unboxing. Wow, he's really investigating this. But yeah, this is the new bed that I got, Jakey. And now we're going to open it. Look how happy he is, a little tail. <laughs> he's so interested. He's like, what is this mysterious package? Is it just for me? Jake is using his new bed. It looks like he likes it. But not liking me. <laughs> and look, he put his little toy right next to it. He's so cute. So cute. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Look how cute this whiny boy looks. Just whining. What are you whining about? He's like, I don't really know. I'm not 100% sure. I think I want to take a nap. Hello. Good morning. Well... It's 10.50, so it's uh, nap time. <laughs> I am going to be reading this today, but we're also going to be using it as the tripod stand, so um, that really didn't go well. <laughs> Let me try again. Good lord. Had my coffee, and we watched a Zavid video, and now I'm catching up. Why did I hold that so weird? I'm catching up on Miss Becca's videos from Becca and the Books. And I am going to start my next Reader It or in Holly book. I am going to show it. Jeez. There you go. You can see the book. You can see it. But no spoilers. Um, I'm going to try to make this episode long. I'm watching Becca's uh, Shelve It or Scrap It, which is one of the ones that inspired me to do this kind of series. And I love it. I will link her down below. I love her vlogs so freaking much and this one is like an hour and 26 minutes and now I'm kind of like challenge accepted. <laughs> I am gonna try to take a page out of Becca's book. Ha! Good one. And do a really long episode um, and we'll just see how that goes. So I don't know even how many books I'm going to end up reading for it, but I'm really having a good time because I'm getting to so many new releases that I just, I don't know. I have such a bad habit of putting off books I'm excited about. I don't, I don't know why. I guess just fear that they'll disappoint me or something, but it's a little silly because if they do, they need to go so that I can, you know, move on. Put some more books on my shelves. <laughs> I don't need to be doing that. Actually, I am really trying to hold out for that buying ban now after having gone to the bookstore earlier this week. Um, but today, my two plans are to read this unhaul it book um, or keep it. I don't know what's going to happen with this book. I hope I keep it because I really love this cover and I love this edition. But I um, am hoping to get... At least 100 pages into that, and then with Oathbringer, that's just going to be my I want to relax and I want to do my cross-stitch book. So those are really the plans for the day. And then I think tomorrow I want to probably do the same thing. And then on Sunday we'll just dedicate like a little editing day for that. I keep forgetting it's Friday for some reason. My brain just skips over Fridays and thinks it's Saturday. I don't know. So I do have more time, but you know. Mm, mm, mm. So 
trying to think if there's anything that we're going to do around the house, but I kind of want to just have a little bit of a read and rot weekend, if I'm honest. I finished a book yesterday for the video, and I really am happy that I read that one because now I know my feelings about the series, and we'll talk about it in that video. Um, but for Oathbringer, I am sad that I did not meet my own set deadline. I guess I should change that in the Bookly app. There was just no way I was going to finish that on Wednesday. I don't know what... Dang, not saying I failed. Girl, calm down. Oh, no. Um, let's aim for next Tuesday. That sounds good. I'll have to read for three hours a day. All right. We'll see about that. <laughs> um, I do need to take a little nap. Not gonna lie. I did not get a lot of sleep last night. Uh, my own anxieties. Yesterday was just like a little bit of a brain gallon day. Not gonna lie. And it is what it is. So now, I'm gonna nap. Then we're gonna read and we're gonna hang out and we're gonna cross stitch. And I will probably meet you back here with like a little reading break um because I really am having a fun time recording those and I really like I just like them I just feel like they're a nice little time I really like a 30 minute I think 20 to 30 wherever it falls within that is nice um but if y'all have a time span that you like feel free to drop it down below but I feel like that range is pretty good because it's like enough to do a little bit of reading but not not too much not a crazy amount I've thought about doing the read with me videos that people do but I'm just I never use those I like sprints and I feel like these kind of imitate sprints in a way of like chatty 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 b-roll read with me chatty chatty b-roll you know I don't know maybe that's just me and even if it is it's my lone flag of one, just flying in the wind, having a good time. Oh, also my library did message me. I have two books now that are ready to pick up for the Patreon vlog that I want to do for December of reading the best Goodreads books of the last five years or whatever. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and then the women showed up. So I don't know a thing about either of these books. I do know for the first one that someone that I do trust for reviews of like fiction, lit fic, those things, Monty really enjoyed that book. I don't know, not a thing about the women. But people seem to cry a lot in that lady's books. So I am emotionally unstable at the moment. <laughs> so that could go, that could be a good thing. I think crying while reading is very cathartic. It's hard to get me to do it, but but it happens. It does. It is known to happen sometimes. So perhaps one of those will do that. But for now, I do believe a little snooze is in session. Um, I think they just mowed the lawn. So I'm probably going to go check, see if Annabeth is still in her little cave from this morning. That is so funny. She dug down in there and then she's burrowed it out to turn around. So it's like an open little space in there. And then she's just looking out into the world like, oh. What's going on? I sent it to my dad. It was just progressively zoomed in pictures. And um, he was like, she's prepping. Winter is coming. Um, slowly and mildly. But I do need to get her little brumation station set back up. Which, if you don't know, is a big old bucket of dirt. It's nicer than that. But not much. Truly, that is what is I found recommended on the forums, which sounds crazy, but it's just, I do not want, also, if you don't know, I'm talking about my Russian tortoise outside, Miss Annabeth. Yeah, named after the Park City Jackson character. Yes, yes, yes. Um, she burrows in, brewmates for the winter time, but because our winters are so, like, inconsistent... Um, if it were to snow here, like if we lived up north, she would be totally fine outside because she would dig past the freeze line and then, well, we'd probably have to dig down and put her down there, but that'd be fine. And then the snow works as an insulator, so she'd be totally cool. But here it just kind of rains a lot. Um, 
and goes really cold, really hot, really cold, really hot. So in the garage, we can control that temperature. Keep it down. Because the whole thing is like, you gotta, because you know they don't actually sleep in hibernation or hibernation. It's just, they all just kind of like, <sighs> and so we gotta make sure that her little system doesn't start working too much by getting warm because then it will burn the fat and the calories that she needs to keep to hang out until March. So there's your science lesson of the day. It was probably, it wasn't giving Bill and I, it was giving like off brand, but it's what I can provide. Um, I'm going to actually go read like a chapter or two of this just very vaguely holding up that book because there's sprayed edges so I can't show you the big part of it um, but I'm gonna read some of that get my initial thoughts and feelings on it and then uh, I'm gonna be out like a light to the world so can't wait I made me a little snacky snack I got some vanilla Greek yogurt from Chobani that's the one that I've really been liking and sometimes yogurt makes my stomach hurt but this one is not at all and then these blueberries are so big. I cut them in half. They're the only ones that Whole Foods had in stock, apparently. I'm going to say allegedly because I feel like my shopper really just wanted to see me eating these giant. They're literally called jumbo blueberries. What farm grows jumbo blueberries? Pray tell. And then this is my favorite lemon pistachio granola at the moment. I kind of want to try the pumpkin one next time. So when I go through this bag, maybe... Will endeavor, but for now, it's my little, my little snack. Bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your head.
Okay, so I am sitting down, starting at page 658. Well, I'm now. I did start at 658. With our reading sprint that we just did together, I'm on 676. No, 77 now. And I'm starting chapter 68. We are getting to that really nice spot where this side becomes smaller than this side. And I love that. Also, I put on some nails. These are the ones I have, and then my thumbs, how do I turn this without hurting my thumb? They both have that on it. And I think it's cute. And I like it. But I am definitely keeping these tabs out. I know that I keep trying to, like, not tab this book, but I need to just give in and realize this is what I need. Um, one of y'all commented about how I can listen to ambiance in the background while I'm also listening to my audiobook. So I'm about to go figure out how to do that because that sounds great. And then keep on reading until I get sleepy. I do want to start this guy next. I think when I get within like the 200 pages left of this book, I will go ahead and start this one. But for now, I want to try to focus in on this just for tonight. Maybe we'll start that tomorrow. I don't know. Sometimes at night I can focus on epic fantasy, but sometimes I need a little break. But I haven't really been reading much today at all. In fact, this is the first one that I've really sat down to truly read read. And um, I think that we're ready. We're locked on. We're doing it. <laughs> Hello. Guten Morgen. Well, actually it's afternoon and I don't know how to say that one. So, hey. Um, I'm in here to get my reading journal and such necessary items so that I can do things. Hello. Get into it, girl. Get where you need to be. Um, okay. I need to put that bookmark up. Reading Janelle. We need... I use a micron pen in here. It's the best. Just saying. And then... I don't think I'm gluing anything in. I think I really just need to focus on coloring... And adding in like the details that I want to add in and that takes a while but I just bought the audiobook for Immortal Dark from Libro FM so I'm going to use that the only other thing I kind of want to do is put in my autumn reading challenge I kind of want to do that and set that up I think that that would be cute See? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight books here. Oh, wow. Um, I guess I could put together that autumn reading challenge and then also my autumn, uh, like, TBR page together. Because I have some leftover of the bookshelves. That's, that's cutesy. It is. I think we'll do that. I also have these too. How many books do I want to put on is the question. How many are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 books in two months. Can I do that? Is that science? Well, I'd also have to put some that I've already read because they were on my TBR and I finished them. Yeah, I think I could do that. That's almost a month worth of reading anyways. So, slay la la yay, yay, yay. Uh, I think I want to also just put like a little list. What are these? Oh yeah, that's a list. Woo. How many are on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's not 12, and I don't really want to cut them up, although I may just have to. 
get over that. Um, I need to place another order for some more, actually. Fall. Do I have the word TBR? Is she in the room with us? She is. So I'm going to put fall TBR. So I have my little words. Have my bookshelf. Have my this. Okay. Let's go. We're going to get festive with all my reading journal stuff. Yeah. Yeah. This is so nerdy, but I'm so excited. <laughs> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if So I waiting. did my little reading journal for a while Let me see where my book I got two, I read for an hour and 50 minutes so far in this book and I got to page 94 of Immortal Dark, and I am really liking it. It is about a world where there is essentially a... It's a little bit like True Blood, but I don't know for sure how many people know about vampires. So I don't know if it's like just like True Blood in that way of like, you know, they came out of the coffin, as they say, and everyone in the world knows about it. But... There is this school where humans go to kind of learn about the way that vampires and humans can live together in harmony. And there is a, like the select family lineages that they are essentially assigned to certain vampires. And it's like a... Um, would the word symbiotic relationship be correct here? I think so, because there's perks on both ends. And she has had her sister go missing and is convinced that a vampire from this school took her. So now she has found a way to get there to find her sister. And that's the whole plot of the book. And I'm really liking it. The writing style is super great. I like how descriptive it is of the plot and like we're really fleshing out the world. It's also just so vampire-y and the vampires are giving me a little bit of like the chaos that is the originals from the Vampire Diaries the, slash the originals universe and then also the sassiness that comes from the southern vampires that are in True Blood. Like it is just a great combination. I'm loving it. Those are my two probably favorite vampire universes. Um, and I'm just having like a really good time with it. And now I just downloaded the Read It On Haul It book because I do not want to hold it up um, right now. And that sometimes it's just like that. So I'm going to start reading that for the night. Um, I am not feeling super great. I'm having quite the brain day. So I'm going to focus on drinking my water and reading this book. And we'll just kind of see where we go from there. We're probably not going to go very far. We may just go to bed. <laughs> That's where we go from there. But I have my little October autumnal ASMR on. Having a good time. Got full thing of iced water. Gonna have chicken nuggets and chicken nuggets and fries for dinner. And all is right. Hello, guys. The two besties are here. <gasps> Hi, Ginger. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Don't try looking up here. This paw, right there. She's wearing a sock. She kicked it off of her other one. So we'll have to get it on there later. When she's least suspecting it. But she is old. And so cats' claws don't retract in as well when they're older. And so I think it's a combo of that probably her paw hair growing a little bit longer. It's hard for her to get as much traction to stand up super well. So I was thinking, we've had dogs in the past that have used like little sockies with grips on them to just have a better grip on the ground. So when I looked it up online, 
there was someone who had tried it, but they had tried it with an orange cat. And I was like, yeah, if any cat was going to be down, it would be an orange one. If any cat was going to, like, start a war over, I thought it would be her. But she has yet to curse the rest of my family line, so... I, I really do think sometimes, like, she's dramatic. She's so dramatic. And she just wants her way, and she gets it every time. It's my fault. But I feel like she was like, no, I think this actually is going to help me. And she let me put it on. She let me put it on both at one point, but they have a little, like, um thing that goes around the top of it that velcro so that the sock doesn't slide up and down and I did not get that one on that leg at that point because she was getting fed up of me and let me tell you when she eats usually we have the raised I have a I like have a contraption I made for her food with like a little box lid and something else and then a raised food plate or bowl thing and then a plate on top of it because she prefers the flat and um she still has to bend down obviously because it can't be like up at her chin but she will just have her leg like slide a little bit and she has to reposition a lot and I think it's probably annoying to her but she walks fine she jumps fine she doesn't jump as high random places but I don't want her to so she, I think I've also just trained her to train me to be her elevator which is fine. Happy to do it. What level, what floor are we going to, ma'am? You know what I mean? Um, but these socks, her little feet just stayed in place. And I could tell, like, she kept looking at them like, this is magic. Yes, girl. The magic of you finally listening to me. I probably, probably every mom ever. Um, but I just think it's, first of all, it is kind of just the cutest thing. Uh, but also, I actually think they feel nice too um, for her arthritis on her feet with just like having something soft and then it warms them too. All around, she seems to be quite happy with them. So that is good. I thought I would mention that just in case any of y'all have a cat that has slippy feet. <laughs> these work and they're like actual cat sizes I just I don't know why I didn't think of that before because again dogs have them all the time and you also have them for if like cats lick their paws too much which she has definitely done in the past um oh, she said you said we wouldn't talk about that anymore well if you stop we wouldn't mm -hmm. <laughs> she's so funny um but anyways I am Watching a few little booktube videos, it's making me want to do this challenge that I'm seeing of a random number generator, the wheel, or S-I-R-I, -I, I won't say it because I don't want to set mine or anyone else's off, chooses how many pages I read a day. I think that'd be fun. I'm trying to think of what my page numbers would be though. I don't think I would do one. I think I would do my a little bit less than my average page count a day to like a challenging one so maybe like 50 to 300 would be good but I wouldn't I know some people are, have made it to where they cannot read more than what they get I wouldn't do that it would just be you have to read that much and then you could go more or less like, like you can't do less um but yeah that's just a little cat update she's just about ready to go to sleep and I am reading my unhaul book and I am having having some thoughts. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh we know what we have let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for. 